Hi there, in this video I will be using my homemade DIY CNC machine to make wooden fridge magnet shaped like the letter R using a 650 watt palm router and some 18mm thick pine. As the gantry now sits higher after the supported linear rail upgrade, I have had to modify the router mounting plate to reach the workpiece properly. I'm swapping a 60 degree V carving bit with a 6mm shank for a 6mm diameter carbide router bit with two flutes and a quarter inch shank. I used F engrave to create the letter R. Set the height to 100mm Recalculated it. Exported it as a DXF file. And then opened it into LibreCAD. On a layer called Through, I added a 3mm offset polyline for the cutter compensation. And on a layer called Tabs, I used a copy of this but with two gaps, which will become the tabs that are left when the CNC machine has finished. Next, this DXF file is opened by some Python code that I have written using Genie. See my website for more details. You can set the file paths, feeds and speeds and cut depths here. Then run it to generate a report and the G code required for the CNC machine to use. So let's run the machine. This is speeded up 10 times as you can see from the stopwatch behind. It just stopped dead. I think the Arduino lost connection with my laptop. I closed the connection from the universal G-code sender and then reopened it. Just lifted the cutter straight up and started the G-code from the beginning again. It is cutting at a depth of 5mm per pass and it is moving at a speed of 300 millimetres per minute. It completed the job without stopping again in 7 minutes and 45 seconds. Unbolt it. The letter R is still attached by the tabs and can be easily popped out with a quick sand down to neaten it up. I finished it off with a cheeky couple of coats of clear spray lacquer. Twelve millimeter wide flexible magnetic strip was easy to cut with a pair of scissors and then stick in place. We need to check this thing works. Yeah, no problem. If you've made it this far, well done. Please like and subscribe or have a look at my website for more information on this and other projects. And I will catch you in my next video.